Here are all 11 dyslexia screening tasks that I give to determine if somebody fits the dyslexia profile in my personal screenings and in the book, Is It Dyslexia? The first task is the student would write the alphabet in lowercase letters. Lowercase letters is because when they come to a B or a D or a P or a Q, sometimes dyslexic students revert to writing capitals to avoid having to decide which way that lowercase B or D faces. This test, along with asking them to write the days of the week in order and the months of the year in order, are all designed to measure their long-term memory skills. The second dyslexia screening task is to ask them to spell some high-frequency but irregularly spelled words. This is also to measure memory. The third task I give them is to count how many sounds, how many individual sounds, not syllables, are in a word. This ability to discriminate and isolate sounds is very difficult for many dyslexics. In task four, they will be reading grade level appropriate phonetically regular words. This is to measure their reading skills. In task five, I measure their sound to symbol knowledge. So I will tell them a sound and they will have to write the letter or letters that spells that sound. In task six, they do the opposite. They see a letter and then they tell me the sound that that letter makes. This measures their sound to symbol knowledge. Task seven measures their auditory discrimination and memory skills. I would say three sounds and they would repeat those three sounds after me in the right order and accurately. Task eight is also a measure of their phonemic awareness skills. In this task, I would tell them to say a word and then I would tell them to say that same word, but without a specific sound. For instance, I would say, say the word cat and then say the word cat without saying k to see if they can break off that sound in their mind and say what the rest of that word would be. Task nine continues to measure their phonemic awareness, their isolation skills. They would see a picture with dots underneath representing the sounds that are in the word in that picture. Then they would have to identify a specific sound in which dot they heard that sound. For instance, if the picture was of a peach, there would be three dots underneath that picture representing the three sounds in peach, p, e, ch. And then I would ask them to identify which of those dots represented the e sound, for instance and they would have to mark which dot. In task 10, we're continuing to measure phonemic awareness. Phonemic awareness is the biggest indicator of reading struggles. And if you can overcome that, then reading becomes much easier. This is why we focus on phonemic awareness so much in the Learn Reading program and why I screened so much for it, both in my personal screenings and in the screenings in the book. So in task 10, we are doing phoneme reversal. I would ask them to say a word, and then I would ask them to say the word backwards. We're not thinking about the letters, how it's spelled. We're only thinking about the sounds. For instance, I would have them say the word T and then try to say the word T backwards and see if they could pronounce it as eat. And then in the final task, task 11, I am asking them to decode unfamiliar words. These are nonsense words. They've never seen these words before, but if they have proper decoding skills and a solid foundation in how phonics works, then they should be able to use those reading rules to decode these unfamiliar words. Now, if I provided this screening for you online, then I would then take a minute to analyze the results and prepare a report for you. The report would include a severity level and accommodations that would be needed at home and at school. If you did these tasks at home, they're all in here for every grade. For instance, here are those pictures that I was talking to you about with the dots underneath each one. There are different tasks for every age all the way up to adults. If you did those at home, then I have analysis instructions in here so that you can determine what those results are on your own at home. Both options are in my profile. I know that that was probably a lot of technical information. It was a lot of information, but I often get questions on, can I see your screening? Well, that was a big, broad overview of what my screenings look like and of the, all of the screenings that are in the book, Is It Dyslexia? Hopefully that helps answer your questions, but if you have any more, put them in the comments. I'm here to help.